I come from the land of midnight shamans. We have eternal days in the north that the sun basically never sets. And coming from this tradition, we have got vowels and sounds that represent the nature and the shamanic force in the nature. The yoik, the Lapland singing, is a long tradition where the singer takes on the form of a spirit. For example, a tree or a stone or an owl or a wolf and embodies that creature or object in its voice. Like the leo 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 and the drumming is an ancient way of transcending the consciousness. The shaman drums. There's a story like the Finnish who were who went to the North America with the Swedish Navy. So they started building the same stuff as they were building in their homes log cabins and saunas and the Native Americans found out that those Finnish, Finnish lads are cool lads so they were sitting in the sweat lodges and the saunas together and were like brothers from another mother you know you know this joke it's old joke <laughs> and and always when there was a conflict between the the settlers the English the French the Swedes Native Americans killed all of them, but Finns, they never touched. They were left alone because they were the brothers from another mother. So they were just hanging around, banging the shamanic drum, doing some sweat lodge or sauna, and then sitting down and listening to the sounds of the forest. The same tradition is ancient and it has been carried to this present day here, here in Estonia. There are thousands of old folk songs that have been recorded and that are still sang and used every day. People are aware of it and they are aware of the he's, the sacred groves and spots in the forests that, that are made, made for Let's continue. The child is on the rock stone, so the child is on the right place. And the same tradition of going and worshipping the stones, the sacred groves of trees, it is still intact. We with the family, we have tradition that we take our silver jewelry, because this land here, it was 1000 years ago the richest land in the North Europe. And people were trading here silver and sending iron the weaponry out to the south and to the west and to the east it was in between the trade routes so people who had silver they went to the sacred crows and they left some silver it, it's called silver white to the spirits and then, then there was a concert like a really popular performer in our country was performing and then he made, then he made a pause and asked during the concert, who of you believes in God? Most people just ignored and no one raised their hand. Most. But then he asked, who of you believes that he or she has a soul? Everyone raised their hands. So our religion, our culture is animate. We see the anima, the spirit in all the living beings, in the stones, in the trees, in the grass. And we never take the word in our mouth to do any injustice to the spirit that is in the living beings. And from there comes our singing tradition. Uh, 
Armad ne laula, ne lähittää hyppäleen. Kissi lyö viiru mun päälle ja koko maailma pauhaa. Yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, anna iloinen olla. Osa suuru tulee, anna hänen mennä. So, your songs are full of repetitions. You can repeat them. One hundred times, two hundred times. We never count it, we just repeat it and we sing it. And that creates a sense of trance. That Consciousness, consciousness is able to tap to other realms and there are a lot of work songs, a lot of labor songs that the people are doing different labors, they are singing songs and it's still intact. And another thing is, is the songs of celebrations and sometimes the ritual songs because those vowels that we use for the phonetics, the ö, ä, ü, ü, they are there that to reach the overdone, overdones, so overdoning realms. So it means the shamanic realms. So I will have to save the child from the stone. And, and the uh, 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 U, they are there to bring on the ascended realms, the overdones. For example, We are using the, a lot of Jews harp, you know, and the shamanic drum and singing those songs like Yksi, kaksi, kolme, nelja. and we go <laughs> and, <laughs> and hang out with the gods like Buddha said. But what this kind of a tradition, the singing tradition does, it gives a sense of spirit, a anima, that everything is living and connected, intertwined to each other. So we respect each other and we respect nature more that it's more that it's common in the other lands or in the, in the many, many lands of this world. Like <laughs> when I go to e EU to some European country, I'm usually lecturing people like, "What the fuck are you doing? That nature is a." living thing and you just kind of rob the nature with your will that's just crazy that's madness <laughs> but another interesting thing like in the 90s there was a singing revolution over 100,000 people came together and they came together for many days for many weeks and they sang together they sang together the songs of freedom when i hear those songs I just the tear comes to my eyes because it's so powerful it's magnificent People have this single goal, a freedom to free themselves from an oppressive regime, and they sing together, they manifest with their voices. People are so aware of the power of word that they are able to still have it the largest um, singing festival in the world, as many hundred thousand singers gathered every four and five years. So we have a youth singing festival and for the adults. So they gather and sing together. That's just magnificent. And we are a small country, 1.3 million people. And over 100,000 people gathers and sings. That's crazy. That's huge amount or percent of the whole population comes together and, and sings. So understanding the power of word gives a sense of well-spokenness, a sense of phrasing the words in a proper way that we understand. We do not make simple promises, we make deep promises. It's not like, I'm not going to make you a compliment if I don't make mean it. Oh, you look nice. Fuck off. No. When someone looks like I say it, you look nice and I mean it because I understand the power of word or I see a phenomenon and I give a name to it I really mean it there is no flattery flattery destroys the power of the word and makes a person meek and weak hopefully this video was interesting check out eight exercises for the voice and subscribe goodbye